everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I'm Rashawn. And together we are Not Your Mom's Greens. And for today's video, we're going to be showing you how to elevate your black bean burger. Burger? So, if you guys are just tired of eating the same old veggie burger, we're going to show you how to spice things up, make it a little new, and have a quick, easy meal for the week. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so for today's ingredients, we'll be using Gardein Black Bean Burger, Chipotle Black Bean Burger from Gardein. We have a red onion, two avocados, got some lime juice, you know what I'm saying? Some chow cheese thrown on top of that black bean burger, some cilantro, some ground black pepper, sea salt, and then we got wheat buns. If you can tell, we're going to be you know, I'm making guacamole with our avocados, red onion, and lime juice and seasonings and cilantro and we'll be throwing that on top of our black bean burger to spice it up. We're gonna throw this in the microwave to frost this black bean burger real fast before we get to frying it. You know what I mean? There's directions on the back of the bag. It's gonna tell you how to frost it. If you wanna use microwave, stove top of the oven. We're gonna use microwave and stove top to show you how we get it done. So this is gonna be in here for about a minute. Then we're gonna take it out Throw it on our skillet with some hot oil and get a nice and sauteed. All right, so we got the black bean burger nice and defrosted in the microwave. We're just gonna throw it on here to sizzle it, get nice and sauteed on both sides. Since it's already cooked, you don't need it to cook through. You just need it to get crispy and sauteed on each side and then it'll be ready for the cheese. So once you see it start to brown on the edges, that's really what you want. You want it to get nice and crispy. So once you, once it's been on there for about a minute, it's on, it's on high, it's on high temperature. So once you get it up, once it's been, maybe about a minute, it's nice and crispy, then you can throw on your cheese. Y'all see, y'all know how I do my cheese now. Wait for it to melt a little bit. Flip it over, uh-huh. Then throw it right over the top. Okay guys, now that our burger is done, it's time for part two, which is making our guacamole. So if you've been buying guacamole, repeat after me, I will no longer buy store-bought guacamole. It is so much cheaper and so much tastier to make it yourself at home. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do that and then we're gonna throw it on top of our burger. Okay, so a big part of making guacamole is chopping. So the first thing that we've got here is our cilantro. And I'm just going to cut a little off the top. We're not making a huge portion of guacamole, so, you know, just kind of cut to taste. I like a lot of cilantro, so I'm just going to cut off, take out some of the stems now that I've chopped it, because I really try to get it from the top. Say you got it from lower in the, like, say you got it from the bottom of the bunch, you want to pick it off and then chop it, but we didn't have to do that today. So I'm just going to throw it in our bowl, put that to the side. Now we've got some red onion. Red onion is important for this recipe. You could use a yellow onion or a different onion, onion if you had um, no other option, but red onion is really the best for this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dice it now that we've got to the pretty part. Gotcha. Okay, so I switched to a knife that's a little bit smaller but sharper because if your knife's not sharp, it's hard to get through that onion. And I've just got a nice little claw grip on here. Make sure I don't hurt myself. And once it's nice and gritted like that, just chop it straight down. And I'm not like super big on onions, but try to get a decent amount for this. Like this is pretty good. And like I just do all this stuff by eye because I make guacamole so many times at this point. So the next part is of course one of the most important which is our avocado. So what I do with my avocado is first we're going to poke this part out then I just like to cut it around. So I just like you can feel the pit in there. Sticker. You know what, fuck it, we're just going to cut the sticker. And boom. So once we come all the way around, split it open, ooh it's perfect. Then I just like to pop this out. And we'll see. I don't know how many. I think I'm just going to use one avocado for this today. Don't think I'm going to need two. 
Okay, so once we have our avocado looking beautiful like that, we're just gonna go ahead and, I like to dice it in the skin still. So again, we're making that grid. So just one, two, three, four, five. Come back through horizontally. And then it's basically just gonna fall right out of that avocado into the bowl. Just be careful not to get any of the skin in there. And make sure that you go deep. You wanna get every little bit of avocado that we can out of that skin. Ah, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we got all of our avocado chopped up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lime juice. Again, like do this to taste. I like a lot of lime. So after I do that, I'm gonna throw in some sea salt. You can use regular salt if you don't have sea salt, but I think using sea salt helps me to not overdo it when I'm salting my food, so I really like it. Throw in some pepper, and then I'm gonna start mashing. So I might come back and add different flavors after I do this initial part, but that's a good place to start in terms of ingredients. Now, if you don't have one of these mashers here, feel free to use a fork. But basically, you just want this all to form together in like a nice, beautiful medley. And if you have one of these, you might have to do some scooping out like this. Mash down hard because you want this to be, you know, a chunky guacamole, but not too chunky. And this just, again, tastes so much fresher than what you get at the store. And way less salty because they really put a lot of salt into some of those store brand guacamoles. So this is a great alternative. So this is looking really, really beautiful. I don't know what word I was trying to find there. I'm just going to taste a little bit to see if we need something else in there. I just don't want the salt to overpower all the other flavors. That's perfect. Okay, so I went ahead and placed our burger here on a whole wheat bun. You can use whatever bun you want, really. And then I'm just gonna put a nice turning of this guacamole right on top. Oh, this looks so good. And then you can even use like the leftover. We have so much leftover guacamole, so you could use this with some chips on the side. And man, you got yourself a nice Southwestern dinner. So this is what our burger is looking like. We're gonna cut this open and do the taste test. Okay, now it's time for the best part, and that is the taste test. We've got our two sides. I'll take this one. Let's see. Ooh, it looks so pretty inside. Bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, doing justice. That, that guacamole, right? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Now that burger is solid. This is so hefty. Like if you guys are looking for a dinner that's filling, but you know, low calorie, this is going to be something that's great for that. And of course, vegan. Okay guys, that's all we got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, any questions, comments, concerns, drop it down in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? We'll get back to you in a comment or in a video. Absolutely. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're doing. Tripping, cuz. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because... It goes straight to your phone? Straight to your phone. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.